I'm back! Uh, you know, I took a bit of a hiatus there, as you may have noticed, so, you know, I've come back with something pretty, maybe, I, like, I'm trying too hard to be relevant, but, you know, I gotta play the algorithm. We're gonna be looking at old people and their pain. No, I'm just kidding, we're not gonna do that. What am I, a monster? But you did smile, though, didn't you? Making me sick. Nah, but we are doing that, though. We are. <laughs> we are doing that. So yeah, I don't know, I just wanted to do a video on these. You ever seen those, those commercials that come on late at night? You know the ones, they're just there to scam your grandparents out of money, and they fall for it anyway? There's just some ridiculous commercials that they make for these things. So let's take a dive together uh, into the world of um, what we're gonna be scammed into eventually when our neurons start to rot. Today is the International Day of Older Persons here in Korea. The actual day was yesterday in other parts of the world, designated by the UN in 1990. The, U the, the fucking UN? You're, you're telling me you flaunted a UN guideline? First of all, why? But because yesterday was Armed Forces Day. It was Armed Forces Day. The guys with the guns were out on patrol. At that point, the UN regulations just become a suggestion. You can see how That'll move the day. Believe it or not, uh, Korea is one of the fastest aging societies or countries in the world. As you can imagine, that means the industry for elderly products is going to go up as well. Cha-ching! Where you might see a loved one, Angela is seeing easy exploitation. Right now, we're looking at 20 billion U.S. dollars mm, of a that's market. That's a huge market. Get me in! What can I repurpose? This. They, they're, this is, they can relate to this. An aging plant for an aging life. I mean, you don't need to trim it. Frankly, it trims itself. All right, let's get started. I'm really excited about this. So yes. what is this first item? So Angela, could you just explain to me what that is and what I'm supposed to say about it? It looks like a speaker. Well, that's basically what it is. Does anybody here know what this is? Is this actually, was this supposed to be on the set? And what it is, more specifically, it's a wireless voice amplifying speaker system. Ah, now, okay. Ah, uh, so it's a speaker? Have you ever tried to watch TV with maybe someone a little bit more elderly? You're okay with a certain level of volume, but they need it to be a little bit louder. Right. Okay, so this is supposed to wirelessly amplify the TV speaker, but they'll just be sitting right next to you anyway, so you'll just hear it from their thing. Just turn it up on the TV. How deaf is your grandma? Get her a hearing aid. We link this up. This is the transmitter to the TV. It comes with the little wire. You plug it in, mm -hmm. and then it links up through infrared lights, that, or rays, that is, that uh, hooks up with your speaker, so you don't need a wire for your speaker. Oh. I forgot all the steps already. I forgot everything. Okay. That way, the elderly, your grandparent, whoever it is, can carry around the speaker to wherever they're sitting. The beauty about this thing, it's got a long range on that infrared. While we're trying to watch Star Trek Next Generation, Wheeler to the corner, Okay, it's gross when she's here. Wheeler, Parker here. I don't know, just put the speaker on it. Don't have to see her anymore. This product's more for me than her. Okay, let's try this yep. first and hear it. So we're watching. Oh, so you do hear that echo, right? Yeah, you can really hear that. It's, it's not, it's not synced at all. <laughs> also, I think it's transmitting Russian radio broadcasts. I can't hear actually, Minja. Could you make it louder, please? Minja, careful! Stop manhandling right, that so... thing! Oh! All right, so this next item looks like... Uh, what is this? This is called the Anma Wang. Another kind of fun name, Anma Wang. If you're bored at all during this, you could just watch the freaking epic K-pop going on in the background. Aha! Uh -huh. It feels like you're you're tapping me on like, the back. Of... Are you tapping me on the back? No, you're not! That's the thing! Holy crap, I thought it was your finger! Not to mention, these are made from solenoid coils or solenoid um, features that heats up naturally. So instead of like the copper wires where mm. you use electricity, it's not gonna overheat. Okay, that's good news. It's not gonna overheat. In case that was one of your worries. Once it hits 40 degrees Celsius, it shuts off automatically. Good, good. It's got a kill switch built in, thank God, all right? This will not be searing any marks into grandma's back. Should this need a kill switch? Please, please, please talk about the next item. And this is nail clippers? This one is item that already exists? 
Am I seeing, am I getting that right? It's funny because uh, I was telling Min Jong before the show, it's sometimes the best inventions are two very simple products coming together. Sometimes the best inventions are the ones that have already been invented. Most people don't know that. So for a third item, it's just your conventional nail clipper, right? Mm -hmm. And but this what's is special about it. A lot of things. <laughs> just not, she's wildin'. You just selling them nail clippers, Angela? That's not ethical. The unique aspect is it, I, I was wondering about <laughs> that magnifying glass. Too. It comes with the magnifying glass, and because our nail clipper is made out of steel, it Bruh. sticks right on. How neat is that? Uh -huh. I feel like that might make the situation worse. Would that help? Friggin' hell, skip the magnifying glass, just slap an ACOG scope on that bad boy. Trust me, you're not gonna be missing with this thing. Uh -huh. Well, that simple idea, there's no, you don't have to worry about losing it. I don't, I feel like you've missed the point here. You could still lose it. Take, it comes off. That's the whole point. It comes on, comes off. Comes on, comes off. Whoop, I lost it. You can still lose it. There are many other things you could have said about that magnifying glass. So thank you for these great ideas. I think I'll go with the nail clippers, more affordable too. Ah, right? is that right? <laughs> I'll go with the nail clippers that I could have bought from CVS Pharmacy for $1.78. That was the most impressive thing to me in this lineup. For over 100 years, we've been scrunching and folding toilet paper. Who's scrunching? Who's scrunching? To it's very simple, okay? It's a nice, it's a nice weave. Oh gosh, oh jeez. Yeah, that's you. Finally, there's a better way. Okay, there are, you have my attention. Comfort wipe, the sanitary paper extension arm and holder. Oh, for God's sake, we all know there is no way that item is coming out of that scenario unscathed, okay? It's not coming out the same comfort wipe. The first improvement to toilet paper as we know it since the 1880s. The 1880s? You're gonna go back that far? What happened in the world of toilet paper in the 1880s? Toilet paper, 1880s. In 1880, the British Perforated Paper Company began selling toilet paper sold in boxes of individual squares. This is the biggest invention to toilet paper since perforation. And God knows, I don't have to spell it out for you. This is not an ethical product. Think about it, toilet paper is really archaic and disgusting. Ew. Too bad we need to have it as part of the main feature of our product. <laughs> That's right. Never touch another dirty toilet tissue. It's always gonna go just like that. We're never gonna be landing butter side down on the rim of the uh, toilet. Actually, for that, you're gonna need their other product, Comfort Grab. Being a big guy certainly has its advantages. But mostly, its disadvantages all the way down. This is a great product. This is a disadvantage. You're looking at it. Actually, I can't think of the advantage. Heart disease? It's embarrassing to have someone help you with your personal matters. Before the comfort wipe, I had no chance of reaching my own ass. I mean, look at that thing. Are you telling me you'd be able to get all the way back up in there? Look at the shape of my strange body. The comfort wipe has given me back my dignity. Gone are the days I have to embarrassingly rub up against a tree or a neighbor's house to wipe my own ass in full view of the police. I'm sorry, Fred. I, I'll pay for the damage. God knows this hurts me more than it hurts you. Oh, I'm not a grizzly bear, man. I'm a freaking human. And they say size doesn't matter. 15 inches of pure cleanliness. Good as new. Life is hell this way. All right, let's move on to Rejuvenique Electric Facial Mask. With a name like that, how can you go wrong? Hi, I'm Linda Evans, and I'd like to congratulate you on your exciting new purchase. You know that feeling you get when you meet someone and you just feel like you've known them your entire life? Well, I just had whatever's the exact opposite of that feeling. The Rejuvenique system is an investment that can produce amazing results for your face and skin. And since it's a system, not a cream. Now this was a cream? This is a cream. Ah! Well, I'm not really sure it's a system either. No! The essential parts of your Rejuvenique system are the facial mask with adjustable straps and 26 gold-plated contact points. The battery operated control box. This is raising no red flags. This is raising, if this is raising no red flags, you deserve what's coming. 
will give you easy to follow instructions on assembling the system, fitting the mask to your face and operating the controls. Beautiful, she looks so comfortable. She really looks at ease. And in addition, we'll give you details on how to get the best results and answer the most commonly asked question. This will definitely not suck the youth out of your soul and transfer it to me. I do not have a cauldron on my upper floors and I do not consult it in times of need. The battery operated control box, the connector cord, the tube of enriched toning gel. Not uranium. I wouldn't put uranium in a tube. That would cause a lawsuit. I wouldn't want that. Put it on. It wouldn't benefit me to put uranium in the tube, dude. I'm selling it like it's... Why would I do that? It's not uranium. Put it on. You want to know how we're legit? Comes with... Now that's professionalism. That looks like a snuff film passed around in 1970s New York. I know the street. Down on 3rd Street is where you'd find that. The first step is to install the 9-volt battery into the control unit. Okay. Uh, almost ready. Just got to hook it up to that... Small battery. For optimal results, it is very important to properly fit the headband and mask so that they are comfortable and positioned correctly on the face. So I just gotta put this on easy enough. Uh, is, that is that supposed to be happening? I'm fairly sure that's not supposed to be happening. Assuming you are using enough gel, this is not unusual. Now, this is unusual, okay? Let's not beat around the bush. Well, if you can get the idea of what doing eight setups a second would do for your stomach, you have an idea of what Rejuvenic would do for your face. Irreversible damage. You know, all this pussyfooting with all these products, all right, that's all it's been, pussyfooting. Just go full tilt. I never want to see my grandpa again. Have a robot take care of him. This is gonna be bad, isn't it? Would you like to dance with me? Yes. I'm, I'm glad she is staying on script, though. That's a tough line she had to respond with there. This song is In the Mood by Glenn Miller. <laughs> you know it's gonna be a nice evening when your dancing partner sounds like a trash can getting hit with a crowbar every time it doesn't move. What we wanted to do was design a robot that's easy to use. I can say for certain you failed right off the bat. Stop now. You should have stopped before you should have stopped before you started. The time is 9:39 a.m. Designed specifically for seniors, but also affordable. I think that was very important and something that seniors, older individuals could trust. What? That guy? Well, you don't you don't trust that guy back? There's got a naturally trustable face. What? You think he's got malicious intent? You get you re, are you reading bad signals off of that? Off of those eyes? You think those would be the kind of eyes to peer into yours coldly, emotionless, as he strangled you in your sleep? No, he's not that kind of guy. He's a good guy. Could you not have put a little more R&D into the face? Somehow you've made it look worse than if you just took a Sharpie and did like a fucking dot, dot, <laughs> smile, regular smiley face. Somehow you've, how did you do worse than that? He's company and there's somebody to talk to and somebody to, to, to dance with <laughs> that's what you did because you you won't just visit i like the song that he plays actually it's called spotify you can find that song and it doesn't actually play out of a can of beans okay rudy what would you like me to do what crime must i commit today in your name master help me have i reached you Remember to take your morning medication, Anthony. Okay, this one could have been accomplished with a post-it note, and it doesn't even have to creepily lurk towards you. What are these people, crazy? Seniors would give us their feedback, oh, we don't like this, we don't like that. We'd come in and change it. Please stop coming. I told you not to come, but you you keep on coming, and I, my arms are too too weak to hold you back. Yeah, we took in the, we took this feedback into account. Good afternoon. Does this thing do anything other than remind you through text or human to take your medicine this morning? 
I'm not trying to oversimplify your work, your life's work here, but a post-it note on the fridge pretty much accomplishes the same thing here. Okay, wonderful. Uh, did you sleep okay last night? No. What would you like me to do? Let's go. So here, Rudy's able to help carry things for me. Um, you know, help me around the house as I'm moving throughout the day. This is gross. This is gross. This one really grossed me out. You know, I don't know why all these people, all these commercials, all these products are making senior citizens out to be so weak, you know, so defenseless, lacking of inner strength and resolve. I say nay to all that, all right? I don't think you should be put in a home. I think you should be free to break your bones on everything. That's a risk I'm willing to let you take. The legends speak of a man who could teach the elderly to defend themselves using the sacred martial art of cane fu. If we want to age gracefully, we will have to learn from the master himself. The cane is a sign of weakness, but in that deception alone, lies its great strength. Use that deception to your advantage. The ancient Korean noble class knew the power of the cane, and they developed a series of techniques and exercises with the cane. Are you doing this right? What are you saying? What are you, what are you talking about? Ability. Are you still going? Like the woman. Bro, I just can't, I just can't feel the workout, the man. Car up. And taking her child what the fuck are you talking about? I just came to the work out, man. Fighters running into a burning building. They feel the fear, but they do it anyways. Dude, what are you talking? So seriously, what are you talking about? Block. That's, that's can you hear me? Can, can you, you hear me, man? A block and a block Hello? A strike. Dude, can we you hear me? What are you talking block. about? Seriously? Somebody's seriously! in with a high shot. Maybe they're coming in with is a it, knife. Is the door locked? Strike the block. Strike it. The door's locked. The, the door's locked. The strike door's locked. The block. Now, before we end the video, I just want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Honey. Without them, this video would not have been possible. These days, I've been doing a lot of my shopping online. And if you're doing your shopping online, well, you best have Honey. Honey is the free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and automatically tests them at checkout. Those of you who've already installed Honey using my link have, and I can't believe this, found over one million in savings. One million dollars is great, but a truly epic fan base would not rest until we find ten million dollars in savings, okay? Click on my link below to install Honey for free in two easy clicks. Or alternatively, you can go to joinhoney.com slash jontron. I mean, personally, I use honey all the time. I don't know why you wouldn't. I was buying some omega-3 fish oil from the vitamin shoppy, thinking I was going to pay $40 for the privilege. Not if honey had something to say about it. Bing, bang, boom. Saved me $8. And once again, a massive thank you to Honey for sponsoring this video. Without the support of people like them, we could not make these videos for you. So click that link in the description. And until next time, until next time. Jack and I hike the trails down here, and he's incredibly agile. We have a 360-degree sphere around us, and that is our personal territorial oh, dude, space. Dude.